In this video, I'll show you how to use a USB dock with your iPhone 15. It could be the 15 Pro, 15 Plus, 15 Pro Max, or just the normal 15. So what you need to know first is that, well, there's many different docks. And if you don't have one of these, a USB hub or dock, the one you want to call it, and you want to get one, I suggest you don't get one of these with a USB type A port because obviously the iPhone has a USB type C and you'll need one of these adapter to make it work, USB type A, to USB type C. By the way, I'll put links in the description if you want to want to get one of these in case you have one of these USB hubs. So in this video, I'll mostly concentrate on this hub over here that has a USB type C connector. Then if you plan connecting a dock to your iPhone, make sure that you choose one that has some power input. It means that when you connect power via USB Type-C, in this case, on this Mini Soporo, again, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get this, it will power the iPhone because obviously the dock will connect via USB Type-C and if you don't have a MagSafe charger, well, your battery will drain quite fast, especially if you're gonna plug some hard drive and do some intense uh, work. So it's great to have a dock where you can plug it in your phone and plug power in it to actually charge your iPhone and also in case you're using some spinning disk hard drive that requires power well obviously you'll need a dock that provides power to these devices in my case over here i just have two usb thumb drive that are usb type c this dock over here also has an hdmi port and what's great is again if you want to use your iphone with a monitor or a tv well you'll be able to uh, to connect it to this dock so just to show you, I'll plug these two USB thumb drive. Then I'll plug it in the dock over here. This has three USB type C ports, but there are some USB hubs that have many more ports than this one. And the great thing is that you can use them all at the same time. Here I have two. And if I go in files on the iPhone, should be the files app, should look like this. It comes with it, so you don't need to download it. Open it, go in browse, and you should see every connected devices over here. You see, I have this SanDisk and this Verbatim thumb drive, and both are working. And uh, you can browse stuff that are on them and transfer to your phone or transfer between them. You can also connect to your dock other devices, not necessarily memory cards or USB thumb drives. You can also connect your wired mouse uh, via your USB hub. If your USB hub has a USB type A port, great, just connect it directly. In my case, I don't, so I'll use this USB A, USB C adapter like this. Okay, the mouse will be powered. Then, before being able to use it, because you see nothing is happening, you need to go in settings, then go down into accessibility, go on in touch, and then turn assistive touch on like this and only then you see you'll be able to use your mouse to control your iphone so this is very important also when you turn on assistive touch you're going to have one of these whoops sorry floating buttons you see this you can customize this button to do many things and i highly suggest you customize it to do uh, to make you go back home so um, under single tap over here select home okay from this list because usually going home it's very easy with your finger but if you're using a mouse sometimes it's hard to replicate the same action you you can you see with a bit of practice but having this button over here you can just click on it and it goes home directly it's much more easy so this is it this is how you use a usb hub or usb dock with your iphone 15. if you have uh, other things to talk about how to connect these, maybe you have some tricks, please leave them in the comment section down below. If not, please leave a like, comment down below, anything else, and see you, and I will see you in the next video.